You know, we're always told to eat more protein, right? Build muscle, stay full, boost metabolism. It's the golden child of nutrition. But what if I told you that sometimes the secret to unlocking your body's ultimate self-cleaning and rejuvenation process isn't about eating more protein, but actually eating less? Sounds crazy, I know. But stick with me for a couple of minutes because we're diving into the fascinating science of autophagy. Think of autophagy as your body's internal Marie Kondo. It's a cellular process where your body goes on a spring cleaning spree. It identifies old, damaged, or dysfunctional parts of your cells, like misfolded proteins and worn-out organelles, and breaks them down, recycling them for energy or to build new, healthy components. This process is crucial for slowing down aging, reducing inflammation, and potentially lowering the risk of various diseases. So how do we flip the on switch for this incredible self-healing mechanism? Well, one of the most powerful triggers is fasting, but another more manageable approach for many of us is protein restriction. Here's how it works. Inside our cells, we have a master growth regulator called mTOR. When you eat protein, the amino acids from that protein signal the foreman, mTOR, to shout, okay team, we've got materials. Let's build, grow, and multiply. This is great for building muscle, but it completely shuts down the cleanup crew, autophagy. But when you restrict your protein intake, especially specific amino acids like leucine and methionine, the foreman, mTOR, gets quiet. The building site goes silent. This lull is the signal the cleanup crew has been waiting for. Autophagy kicks into gear and your body starts its deep cleaning process. Now for the million dollar question, how low do you actually need to go? Well, the science is still evolving, but studies suggest you don't have to go to zero. The goal is to create a temporary state of perceived amino acid scarcity. For many people, this might look like dropping protein intake to around 0.5 to 0.7 grams per kilogram of body weight for a short period. So for a 150-pound person, that's about 34 to 48 grams of protein per day. This isn't a permanent diet change, it's a strategy. Some people practice this for one or two days a week or for a few days at the end of the month. This protein cycling allows you to get the muscle-building benefits of protein on most days, while still reaping the longevity and cleanup benefits of autophagy on others. It's about finding that sweet spot, that rhythm between building up and cleaning out. It's a powerful reminder that in health, just like in life, sometimes less truly is more.